If you're Warren Buffett, you can make million-dollar bets, and that's exactly what the Berkshire Hathaway CEO did back in 2007, placing a $1 million wager with asset manager protege partners that over 10 years, hedge funds would not outperform index funds. Well, here we are 10 years later. Is Buffett in line to win the bet? WSJ reporter Nicole Friedman joins us now to check the numbers. Hi, Nicole. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. So this all dates back to 2007 when Warren Buffett was being highly critical of the fees hedge funds were charging. Is that right? Yeah, he's been critical of hedge funds for a long time. And he says that the fee structure in which you charge, these funds charge a management fee and then a performance fee. So even if they underperform the market or lose money, they're still taking that management fee, which can be 1% to 2% of assets. And he says that's basically a ripoff for the investor, and investors are better off putting their money in low-cost funds where they just track exactly how the market does. And so Ted Sides over at Protege Partners said, hey, you know what? I'm going to bet you that hedge yes. funds will outperform index funds over 10 years. And so are they looking at a basket of, of hedge funds? Is that how it works? Yes. Yeah, so um, Protege Partners selected five funds of hedge funds, okay. actually. So we don't know what the underlying funds are, but we think it's about one to 200 hedge funds. But the structure is actually these hedge funds are held within funds of funds that charge another layer of fees. And so it's an even higher bar to overcome the multiple layers of fees to beat an index fund. And Buffett chose an index fund that just tracks the S&P 500. So Vanguard 500? Yep. So a very, very simple bet on the other side. All right. So let's take a look at the numbers to see where we are right now. Because, of course, we have until the end of this year for the bet to play out, right? So here's our chart showing that 10 years, Van Vanguard 500 index fund has done quite well. It has. <laughs> it's been quite a bull market for stocks basically since the financial crisis in 2008. And it's been a pretty unusual 10-year period because of the financial crisis. And then we saw a lot of central bank intervention in the markets and negative interest rates in some countries. And so the S&P 500 has done much better than people expected, and hedge funds have underperformed. Comparatively, can we you know, say on average hedge funds have performed what? So in the past, the looking at this bet, for example, yeah. so we only know the numbers through the end of 2015, but at that point, Buffett's side of the bet was up about 66%, and the hedge funds were up about 22%. So that's okay. a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And then in the last two years of the bet, 2016, 2017, we don't know the final numbers, but the S&P has done so well that it would be basically impossible at this point for hedge funds to come back. It would have to be some sort of cataclysmic stock market drop. So at this point, Warren Buffett is on track to win his million dollar bet, like you said, unless some catastrophe happens to the stock market. Exactly. What's going to happen to this million dollars? Yeah, so it goes to charity. Uh, Buffett is a well-known philanthropist, a big fan of various mm -hmm. charitable endeavors. And so he has said if he wins, the million dollars will go to Girls Inc. of Omaha, Nebraska, his hometown. And there's another uh, English charity called Absolute Return for Kids that will get the money if Protégé Partners wins. Uh, great uh, great all, ar all around there. Now, you point out a very interesting irony that even though Warren Buffett believes index funds outperform hedge funds, he himself is not a passive investor. Right, exactly. He is a famous stock picker. That's how he's become so wealthy. And his company, Berkshire Hathaway, does actively invest in stocks like Apple and Wells Fargo and IBM. And actually, the stakes of the bet, that million dollars, is currently invested in Berkshire Hathaway shares. And because of that, it's the stake has doubled, and it's about $1.9 million now. And so the charity is going to get even more money than originally intended because of Mr. Buffett's active investing style. Great news. Now, has either Warren Buffett or Ted Sides come out recently to speak about the bet? So the last time uh, Warren Buffett spoke about it was at his annual meeting in 2016. And he did basically say that this is proof, as far as he's concerned, that the fund fees are a ripoff for investors and that it's all kind of the money is just going into the pockets of the hedge fund managers. And Ted Sides has spoken about this in the past. He didn't talk for this article, but in the past he said that it was an unusual period for hedge funds and they faced a lot of headwinds that might not be representative of a typical decade. Maybe the moral of the story is don't bet against Warren Buffett. I think <laughs> Nicole, it's a thank, bet. thank you so much for that.